When I went to college as an engineer, um, I would get frustrated when people would use analogies that they just assume we'd had the experience about. And I generally didn't have that experience, so I was really lost in school. And so I thought it was really important to design something in where we all went through this experience. So when I reference that experience, I, I know that they, they have an idea of what I'm talking about. I remember this exercise I did in elementary school where we all held hands and there was this little like ping pong ball that lit up and whenever somebody let go uh, it disconnected the circuit and stopped and so that concept for me really it was like I, it laid a foundation for me to understand circuits moving forward are you guys excited yeah. you know what you guys got yourselves into no. <laughs> no i'm hoping these exercises kind of reinforce some fundamental ideas of electricity but the first thing we need to do is we need to all synchronize and make sure we're on the same page. I like to do the synchronizing exercise with all the students, and it's the human circuit exercise. I, I tried to make this look like a battery. Um, and you could even put a positive and negative symbol on it as well. I think the original one did. And so what we did is we took a UFO ball that we found on Amazon. It has two metal leads on it. We soldered those two metal leads with some wire. We take those wires out and we got a cardboard tube um, and then soldered on the, the, the wires onto this copper tape that I put on top so that this whole thing is conductive and it makes it really easy to hold when you have a whole conductive edge as opposed to just trying to have this small little uh, these two little metal pieces for them to hold because sometimes they hold each other when they do that so not only does it make it easier to hold but it symbolizes a battery and, um, and you can decorate it however way you want right now actually what I need you to do is roll up your sleeves Roll up your sleeves. And the next thing I'd like for you to do is hold hands or the wrist of the person next to you. We first have the kids stand up, get into a giant circle, and hold hands, and emphasize why. Because I think it's always kind of tough to just say, don't let go because I said so. Just really emphasize that like every single one of you is going to have this experience. And if you can just only let go when I tell you to, then it ensures that everybody gets the same experience. Otherwise you're just taking it away from somebody else and that's not so fun. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna have you hold on to this end and then the other end. Okay, notice that's on. Once they realize how quickly this symbol of a battery reacts from them simply just holding hands, they light up, they get excited. They suddenly realize this is crazy. This, this thing knows when I'm, I'm touching it. It knows when we're complete. And then once they hold it, then I go from each student, in, in every connection and I say open circuit, closed circuit, and really using those words as much as I can to reinforce this idea of an open circuit is incomplete, a closed circuit is a complete conductive path. Nice, open circuit, closed circuit, nice. Open circuit, closed circuit, good job. Open circuit, closed, nicely done. Open, it really sinks in when they first let it go and come back and you'll hear the noise. Oh, they're awestruck. Open. If you want to tap, you can. Tapping is a great way of really realizing it happens instantly. I mean, that's the speed of light. That's cool. Um, and it gives them a little bit of play. You know, it's, it's fun to be just a little bit loose about it. Open circuit, if you want to tap. Nice, like it's so cool, it happens instantly. Speed of light is awesome. Go ahead and open. <laughs> awesome, good job, go ahead. Oh, oh, what happened? There you go. Nice, nice. What's nice about this exercise is a, it's a nice exercise of figuring out what's conductive and what's not. So if you don't want to do holding hands, you can hold uh, maybe a wire piece together or um, anything that's conductive. So any metal conductive piece, you can have that in between. Um, but as you can see, we can also use it as an exercise to test conductivity. Uh, do you think a tissue is conductive? Should we try it? How do you think I should try that? Put it in between? Okay. So how about if you guys hold it in between? Not conductive. Hold each other's hand just to make sure it's still working. Ah, oh, good. Okay, let's see what else I got in my pocket. What about a pen? You think a pen is conductive? No. No, let's try it. Is a paper no, towel right. conductive or a pen? Let's see. Like 
or um, the housing on a wire, right, versus the actual wire inside. Um, those are different kinds of uh, spins that you can put on that exercise to kind of go a little deeper about what it is to be conductive and what it means to be a complete circuit. And then I noticed you had braces. Are you comfortable with somebody next to you to see if braces are conductive? So the person would have to actually touch the tip of your braces. Hold on. Shh, shh, shh. Shh, let's see if it happens. Yes! <laughs> Braces are conductive. Awesome. Okay. So. I mean, it's just so cool, right? I mean, they really get to, they get to hear that, feel that, have their moment with it, you know, and it's really, it's magical. And it really ties it in. Like, this is real, and they're controlling it. Um, so once they see that, then, then it's like, it's a cool, and it actually sometimes is one of their favorite experiences in the, in the day, is just that simple human circuit.